Hello everyone, today I'll be telling you about my love for Mr. Glenn Danzig. Glenn Danzig is 41 years older than me, and I am madly in love with him. I've been pining after this fellow for about six years, and his music and work ethic are what has, has drawn me to him, and what has made me grow closer to the concept of him, and become further and further up, <laughs> up his ass. <laughs> for one, Danzig's music is beautiful. The songs come from a very common pool of inspiration for metal bands like Religion, The Macabre, and Sexy Demon Ladies. The music is genuine and sincere, and there's a real sense of raw, powerful emotion coming from each of the songs. And if I may, I will now recite to you an excerpt from my favorite dancing song, Heart of the Devil. <laughs> I can make the skies thunder and shake. I can make the world tremble and quake. I can make the pulse pound in your veins. I can make your heart stop and start again because I'm evil. See the way that flows? Like, the cadence of that is just good. Danzig lyrics can function as poetry, which I think is important when you're dissecting lyrics. If they sound good without even music applied to them, then that should tell you about the artistic skill that took to create those lyrics. Like I said, his work ethic is also impeccable. Now, with those lyrics, that ties in to this work ethic I'm talking about. Because it would be very easy for him to just make very good poppy songs, I'm pretty sure that would be in his wheelhouse, but he's worked tirelessly to create music that is meaningful, and that takes work, because it's not the easy road. <laughs> in my opinion, he has built an empire with the misfits, Sam Heyman Danzig, all the way to Verotic and Evil Live. He has written exclusively on all of his songs, excluding, of course, Skeletons, the covers record, and some Sparrow's other covers he's done, like Buick McCain and Trouble. And at the moment, he's got two projects, two, count them, two, projects lined up. We've got an Elvis covers record, which there's already a song floating around, always on my mind, which if you haven't heard that, it's like butter and your ovaries will explode. Mine already exploded. Thank you so much. Never wanted to have children, now I never will. He's also got a new just regular dancing record coming out. Originally, before the Skeletons record, we had three albums that he was working on. His music and his work ethic have drawn me closer to him and further up into the rectum. He's a good role model and a positive force in my life that gives me the light at the end of the tunnel that I need to get through all of this hectic work that I have in college and in my family life and in the eventual workforce that I will have to plunge into. And I have to thank him for pushing me to always work harder and dig deeper for all the art I create. I have to. He is my source of inspiration. People like Roy Robertson and Johnny Cash provided some inspiration for him. He is, he is my Johnny Cash. He is my Jim Morrison. He is the person that's going to influence me to create something sincere, genuine, and emotionally powerful, just like he has. He is, he is an ultimate goal for me to achieve what he has achieved in his lifetime. It is. And, and in, this, in this entire speech that I have just given to you, I did not reference how I feel about him as like an attractive man because I don't think that needs to be mentioned in why I need to defend why I like him because I do find him very attractive. I think he's one of the most attractive people I've ever seen in my life. I have seen him with my own two peepers. I went to a Sam Hain show in Philadelphia and it was amazing and he was amazing. I almost felt like I was gonna throw up and I tried to catch his spit when he spit in my direction. That's how insane I am about him but that would have undermined everything I just said so I forget that. But beyond that, he is very beautiful but if those looks weren't there, would I still like him? Yes, of course I would, because he's a genuine person and fallen for the brain up top more than everything else going on. And he's got it going on. And that's all for me, guys. Thank you for listening to my <laughs> my incoherent babbling about Mr. Glenn Danzig. I hope, I hope it doesn't scare you off from this, <laughs> this community that I hope you and I will have at some point. I'm gonna try to start making one video a week to build up some semblance of a schedule, but it's gonna be finals week, so I don't know how well I'm gonna keep up with that, but I'll try. And I also don't know what to say to sign off on these things, so if you have any suggestions, please listen in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!